Hi, welcome to Real Estate Real Answers. I'm Kyle Foffey, and today's question comes from a viewer. Robert asks, when I fill out a seller's disclosure, what am I responsible for? What am I on the hook for? This is a great question, and today we're gonna to answer that for you. When you're selling your home, you're gonna be required to fill out a seller's disclosure. You're to answer each question honestly and to the best of your knowledge. Some questions are pretty easy, like, does a home have a dishwasher, or, does the home have AC? Other questions are not so easy, like, are you aware of any malfunctions or defects with the electrical systems? Or are you aware of any wood rot on the property? As a seller, you're required to disclose any known defect about your home. Now, if something was broken and you fixed it, it's no longer a defect and you don't have to disclose that. Unless you're asked a specific question about a previous repair, like, are you aware of any previous repairs to the roof? If you knowingly mislead or misrepresent the condition of your home to a buyer, you could be committing fraud and the buyer could sue you for actual or potentially punitive damages. The real question I think that Robert is driving at though is a little bit different. I think most of us understand that if you lie on a disclosure form, you could be in real trouble. You could be sued. But what if you're missing something? What if the buyer, after they move in, finds something really wrong with the home that you had no idea about? What is your risk or liability or responsibility in that case? Before we go any further, I wanna make sure that you understand that I am not a lawyer. I'm a real estate agent who's trying to help sellers like you understand everything they can about the seller's disclosure. If you have a law question, please consult your own attorney. For the most part, if you fill out your seller's disclosure completely and honestly to the best of your knowledge, you should be okay. But you could be guilty of statutory fraud if you benefit from something that the court determines that you should have objectively been aware of, even if you claim that you had no knowledge of that. No example is perfect, but let me give you a little idea of what we might be talking about here. Let's say, for example, that your driveway has a huge crack in it, maybe cracks all over it, but you don't disclose that on your seller's disclosure and claim that you were not aware of it. You could be committing fraud. I'm sure you have no intention of committing fraud or misleading a buyer. To protect yourself as much as you can, you might want to get your home inspected or look over your home as best as you possibly can to make sure that you know about any defect or any problem with your home and disclose that on your seller's disclosure. It can only help you. The buyer for your home will almost assuredly have their own inspection performed, but providing a complete seller's disclosure is really important. If this real answer has been helpful for you, go to movesmartaustin.com to see how I protect sellers like you and help them sell for top dollar. Thanks for watching. This is Real Estate and that is the real answer.